Hello, this is Keith with WebEducator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution King Min came up with for a WordPress CAPTCHA called Better WordPress ReCAPTCHA. King agreed to let us create this video showing his solution, which is available on, as an article on his blog at the URL shown here. If you're unsure of what a CAPTCHA is, it's a system intended to distinguish human input from machine input. Or in other words, it's a way to limit the spam that's coming through your contact forms. I already have a fresh WordPress install set up. The first thing you need to do to install the plugin is go to the plugins menu and click add new. Search for better WordPress reCAPTCHA and then click install now to install the plugin. Once the plugin is installed you need to activate it and we're almost there. So now that the plugin is installed and activated, we need to configure a few settings. The first and main thing we need to do is set up the site and secret keys. To do that, click on the link that the plugin gives you. Give it the, uh, and you need to register a new site. So we will give it a label and you can label it whatever you'd like. Put the donate domain name in then this would be the domain name that your site would live on. And finally, add in your email address. Once you're all set, click register. And you'll see that you now have a site key and a secret key. So first, we'll copy the site key and move it into the site key box. And we'll do the same thing for a secret key and move it into the secret key box. Then we'll click Save Changes. And now the plugin is set up and installed. So if you go to the Pages tab, and I have a sample page set up, I'll open it up and we will view the page. And you can see down at the comment box, the plugin puts this little box here that users would have to click when they submit a comment just to prove they're not a robot. And once the user clicks that button, the plugin will do the do its magic, and if you're not a robot, it would click not a robot. Now there are a few more settings that go along with the Better WordPress reCAPTCHA plugin. The first setting box is the plugin functionality, and this is where you can switch to an earlier version of the reCAPTCHA if you want to do um, one of the if you want to change the way that it looks. You can change how the plugin is enabled if you want to do it on a contact or comment form, a registration form, or a login form, or a combination of the three. And you can also set how you could hide the CAPTCHA for different users and visitors. Below that is the settings for the comment forms. So you can change the position of the comment form. You can change what will happen if the, if the user fails the CAPTCHA test. And you can also change the message that will come up if the user, user fails the CAPTCHA test. Below that is the settings for AskMet, which is a different plugin used for combating spam. So if you're going to use both of them together, you can tie in the Better WordPress CAPTCHA plugin with the AskMet plugin. Just click the box and you can change what happens if the CAPTCHA is a correct response. And below that, you could also configure the better WordPress CAPTCHA plugin with the Contact Form 7 plugin. So if you're using Contact Form 7, you can integrate the CAPTCHA right into that as well. You would just need to click that box. Whenever you make any changes, just click Save Changes. That's all there is to it. Thanks again to King for the inspiration for this video. Be sure to check out his blog at the URL shown here for other WordPress articles, tips, and news. Thanks for watching.